Earthquakes. As we know only too well, they can happen. We want you to know that the Christchurch Art Gallery building is a very safe place to be. After the 2011 Canterbury earthquakes, the gallery underwent major engineering work and is now designed to cope with earthquakes much larger than that of February 2011. It is now protected from the damaging effects of earthquake shaking. So if you're a visitor, a member of staff, someone who is thinking of lending your precious artwork to the gallery, or wanting to hold an event here, you can have confidence in the safety of this building. Engineer Stephen Hogg tells us why we can be so confident. Well, we can be confident because the building is base isolated. Now what that means is that the structure is separated from the ground. So that means the ground shaking is decoupled from the building, which means the building shakes to a far lesser degree as compared to if it were connected to the ground. So this building, its contents are well protected from earthquake forces. So what we did is we got some base isolators and we put these base isolators on top of the basement columns and underneath the ground floor. And these base isolators basically are positioned at each column that supports the weight of the building. So the weight of the building comes down through the ground floor, through a base isolator and down into the ground. And that effectively decouples the whole building from the ground. We had to re-level the foundations of the building. During the February 2011 earthquakes, the building settled due to deep liquefaction in the soils. So before we put the base isolation into this building, we felt we should repair the foundations first. The soils under the building, and pretty much most of Christchurch, are really interesting. They're like builder's mix that you might buy from a hardware store. It's a combination of sands, silts and gravels. And the beauty of that is, when you add a little bit of cement and a little bit of water, it turns to concrete. So it gives you a very good platform after that is done to re-level the building off. So this is a base isolator. It has two curved surfaces, much like a wok. To make an analogy, they're much the same as two woks with a marble in between. And so you'll always see the marble go to the centre of the wok. Now our marble is called a puck. So when you put the puck in between and two woks on top of one another, the building can slide that way and the curvature of the wok will force the building to slide the other way. So the building slides from side to side, and as a consequence, the forces in the building are hugely reduced. The bottom of the curvature is on centre, so that helps the building recenter itself after it's been moving. So if we can imagine our art gallery is like this, and that's the centre of the mass. And so if this building were connected to the ground and the ground shook, the building wobbles backwards and forwards. And that is, that wobbling backwards and forwards, that's a building responding in an earthquake. Now, if we were to base isolate our building, we would decouple it from the ground. So when the ground shook, the building would shake differently. And I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate what I mean. So I have two, two tubes here, which, which are just little rollers. This is the ground floor of our building. I put our building on base isolators, much the same way that we've done with the art gallery. When the ground shakes, can you see the reduction in force that happens to the building? That is how base isolation works. So the glass facade is also base isolated. That is because, if I could demonstrate with our building here, the glass facade is connected to the building and it's also connected to the ground floor. So when the ground shakes, 
the glass facade just goes with the base isolated building. When we have small earthquakes, we don't want our building moving too early. So the friction in the bearings is designed and set at a particular level. So what we say as engineers, in a moderate earthquake, we would expect the building to start to move, not in a small one. So would it be safe to stay inside the gallery building during an earthquake? Yes, because it's highly protected from earthquake shaking. It's been strengthened by reducing the forces rather than strengthening the building itself. The contents are much less stressed and the building structure itself is under stressed because it's protected from the forces generated from the ground shaking. This is a really safe place to be in an earthquake. <laughs>